kitchen is your favorite Miss Kevin, me, Mira. Um, so today we're going to be making um, spicy roasted salsa. So last week we talked about uh, making a lean meal. So we had one third protein, two thirds complex carbs, and that's a really good way to structure all of your meals. But sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive. So some, so adding something to make it a little bit more spicy or flavorful uh, really helps making you consistent with sticking to your meal prep. So today with spicy roasted salsa, we're concentrating on two things. Number one, making sure you know all of the ingredients that go into your foods. So uh, no preservatives, no additives, nothing store bought that may be added into like a, a, a jar. And also number two, trying to keep the maximum amount of nutrients in the vegetables when you prepare it. So we're also gonna be making it in a roasted style, so we're going into a little bit more detail about that in a little bit. But first, th these are some of our ingredients. So we have some um, cavatillos, some peppers, some garlic. Cool thing about peppers, I know we talked about it last week, but peppers actually have a component called capsaicin. So um, they have a different level of hotness. So these are bell peppers, so they have like a zero value. And um, there's Anaheim pepper, serranos, and my favorite, habaneros to make this extra spicy. So the level of hotness is determined by how, how much capsaicin is contained in the pepper. And so capsaicin is cool. So um, it, ac it actually releases endorphin reactions within your body. So that natural high that we feel. So, um, you know, those signals into your brain making you a little bit happier and in that high feeling. And then also, um, peppers have a lot of really good benefits, such as for your immune system. It actually acts as Drano for your, your vascular system. And then also for your heart health and anti-inflammatory, among other benefits. And another thing we have in here is garlic. Garlic is a really good vegetable for your health. Um, even though it's better raw, but even though we're roasting it, it has benefits for your immune system, it has anti-cancerous properties, and also good for your heart. Um, so we're going to take this, chop it up, and then roast it. So here's all the vegetables chopped up. We uh, peeled the tomatoes and the tomatillos, and uh, chopped up all the, the peppers, and kept the garlic actually in the peel while we roast it, and then we'll peel it afterwards. So cool thing about roasting uh, versus boiling, it actually keeps more of the flavor and nutrients when you roast it. So with the hot temperature that you can re reach uh, in roasting rather than boiling, it keeps a lot of, like the reactions that occur during roasting really keeps it um, really flavorful. And also the nutrients, you don't lose that many nutrients in roasting your vegetables rather than boiling because in boiling the nutrients actually leach out into the water and are lost so roasting is a lot better than boiling and so we'll see in a couple in about 45 minutes we'll take it out and puree it to make the salsa so we finished this up we roasted it we made sure we took off the peel of the garlic remember if you kept the peel on the garlic on you want to take that off and then we just pureed it um, in a blender to make the salsa. So it's this brown color. You'll see a little bit of chunks of just depending on how hard you blend it. But quick tip, guys, cool tip. If you put it in the fridge overnight, it actually gets spicier, which is pretty cool. But I always make sure I have my tea and any form of like casein protein, so like my shakes, really handy just in case it gets too spicy. So that concludes the second episode of um, Chemist in the Kitchen. Remember to stay fit, stay on your meal plan, make sure you're eating about six, seven times a day. And this just really helps with making sure your food is a lot more flavorful. But I have to admit, one of the reasons why I did want to make salsa this week is because salsa dancing has been pretty prevalent this past week. I did salsa fit with our... Um, team, our um, health coach team, and I also went to a salsa club, and I learned a couple of moves, so I'm just going to bust them out right here at the end, wearing my 24 shirt. So